And lastly, I wanted to tell you all that you do not know my side of the story. The media has a great way of getting a narrative and twisting it. Just when you think the things that people will do in order to get fame has uh, reached its peak, something like this happens. Before we get into today's video, I just wanna let you guys know that this video is for educational purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody anywhere. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about a situation that kind of just hit mainstream media. And I saw the headlines to it, but there are so many layers to this. So make sure you guys stay to the end for all the twists and turns. Before we get into it though, I did wanna let you guys know if you don't already know, hi, my name is Christina. I do have a second channel, which is Casually Christina. We just do things more casually over there. I also have the Patreon, my Patreon's for 18 and up. And over there we talk about more personal stuff. We go live over there. And there is a $2 tier for all the true crime stuff that cannot go onto YouTube due to their terms and policies. That goes over on my Patreon under the $2 tier. Just make sure you read the full about section and what each tier offers before you join. I'm also on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and I'm also on Like to Know It. And Like to Know It is the platform where I post links to a lot of the things that you guys ask about or things that I like or things that I use. All different things like makeup, clothing items, workout stuff, furniture, literally just about anything. I post that over on my like to know it and all of those platforms are linked down in the description box if you would like to come and check me out. Before we go any further, I did want to stop and thank today's sponsor, Pretty Litter. Those of y'all that may not know, I have a three-year-old cat named Jasper. And when I tell y'all I love this cat so much, he is a fully inside cat and he is picky and choosy about everything, food, who he loves on, his time, and even his litter. Now I have been using Pretty Litter and it is awesome. Let me tell you guys exactly what Pretty Litter is. So Pretty Litter is a health monitoring litter that indicates potential health issues. Pretty Litter helps by monitoring your cat's urine for acidity and alkalinity levels outside of the average range, plus the visible presence of blood. Now mind you, I'm not talking about Pretty Litter monitoring your cat's overall health, just stuff that can be detected through urine. Plus it is developed by veterinarians and so it's a pretty neat at home monitoring tool. Now a couple things that I noticed about Jasper is he must love the way that Pretty Litter feels on his paws. Cause when he goes to the bathroom now, he goes in there and he really takes time burying his waist. When I used previous litters, he would just jump in there, use the bathroom, maybe scoop, scoop once, and he would like get out. It never dawned on me that maybe he did not like the way the other litter felt on his paws, but now he really makes sure to get his waist covered up and that helps with odor as well as the fact that Pretty Litter has odor control in it too. And when Jasper's happy, I am happy. If you want to try Pretty Litter, all you got to do is go to prettylitter.com forward slash Christina Randall and use my code Christina Randall to get 20% off of your first order and get a free cat toy. Yes. All you got to do is go to prettylitter.com forward slash Christina Randall, use my code and you can save today. Thanks again, Pretty Litter. So, okay. Before we get into talking about Linda, let me give you guys a bit of some background information. As we all know, prison guards risk their lives every single day when they go to work. It's obviously an important job, but it also can be dangerous. Some would suggest that it's even more risky for female prison guards, especially those that work in male prisons. Women began working in male prisons back in the 1970s, and now 40% of prison staff are actually women. Now, being a prison guard is already a very challenging career, but it is made even more challenging when they're having staffing issues and there's not enough officers in order to take care of the amount of inmates that they have. 
We've talked about all kinds of things happening in prisons because of short staffing, but one that we haven't really dug into a whole lot is about the relationships between guards and inmates. Specifically, this story that we're gonna talk about today, which is about a female guard and a male inmate. Recently, female guards caught with male inmates has dramatically increased. From literally 2020 to 2023, 34 were arrested, including one who got pregnant by an inmate and had his phone number tattooed on her thigh. This is over 50% of an increase from the 19 women fired in the previous four years leading up to 2020. And of course it is believed that this number is probably much higher because a lot of these incidents between, you know, uh, officers and inmates are kept a secret and ne are never even found out, or at least they don't make it to the point that we know about it. Today, I want to talk about one prison guard in particular, 30-year-old Linda de Souza Abreu. Linda is a Portuguese national that was living in Fulham, West London. Linda has been married for six years and has an eight-year-old daughter. She was an officer at HMP Wandsworth Prison. This was her first job as a guard, and she only started there back in the beginning of this year, of 2024. So she literally just became a prison guard. HMP Wandsworth is a category B men's prison in the London borough of Wandsworth. It is one of the largest prisons in the UK and it is also one of the most overcrowded prisons in the UK with just under 1,500 inmates. Linda's father is from Venezuela and her mother is from Madeira, which is an autonomous Portuguese territory off the coast of Africa. And mind you, while researching this, Madeira is stunning. It looks like Hawaii. A lot of people compare it to Hawaii and it's this tiny, beautiful island with lots of mountains and water. And oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. I just thought I would throw that in there. Linda's family moved to the UK back in 1996 and they settled down in London. In her early 20s, this is where Linda met her husband. The following year, in 2018, Linda and her husband had a daughter and they ended up getting married. Before becoming a prison guard, Linda worked as a personal trainer and she practiced martial arts with her husband. So seemingly like a, a good life that her parents, you know, probably struggled to get themselves out of their situation and move to London and raise her. And now she's met this husband and she has this daughter. She's a personal trainer and things seem to be going good. But then in 2022, Linda and her husband appeared on a Channel 4 documentary called Open House, The Great Sex Experiment. It featured couples pushing the boundaries of their relationships at a luxury country destination. Now, during this documentary, Linda says, monogamy is a social construct that I think needs to be dismantled. She also said that opening up her relationship with her husband allowed them to form a deeper connection with each other. Friends say the reason that they think that Linda and her husband did the show was because they saw the first season on TV and thought that it would be a fun experience to take part of. Linda also would go on to start her online business, Only Friends. After this TV appearance, Linda's family said that they wondered if Linda had only done it to gain like her 15 minutes of fame. Linda's sister specifically was worried about Linda after the show. She said that there was so much talk on social media that she even had to block people on her own social media that only wanted to come there and talk about Linda's intimate life. So you imagine like the whole family after she goes on this show talking about her and her husband, you know, being very open and they're like, you know, that's what the whole show was about. And other couples there, they're at this marvelous looking country club and they're speaking very openly about being very open. Got it? Well, now her own family is getting people messaging them about her to the point that her sister, who was making content online, which she was basically doing like physical stuff, personal training type of stuff as well, her comment section was getting flooded with things of an intimate nature of her sister. So she's going through and having to block people because she did not want her health and fitness content to be, I guess, tainted with her sister's 
intimate life. No one really knows why Linda suddenly switched gears and became a prison guard though. So you, you guys get the full picture, right? She had this family life. She gets married. She has a kid. She is a personal trainer. She's doing uh, martial arts with her husband. She goes on this show that is very sexual in nature. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she becomes a prison guard. And everybody's like, wait, what? So it was completely shocking when a video went viral online of Linda being intimate with an inmate. On June 27th of this year, 2024, a four minute video was filmed of Linda being intimate with a 36 year old inmate named Linton Weirich. Linton is currently in prison for robbery. One where he stole 65 pounds. And when I mean pounds, I'm meaning like the UK standard of how they compare it to like the dollar. Not pounds as in weight, but 65 pounds as in money. <laughs> Worth of goods from a safe in a luxury apartment. He stole all kinds of stuff. He stole jewelry. He stole really expensive belts. He stole handbags, a laptop, and a suitcase. So Linton ended up being sentenced to four and a half years on June 7th of this year, 2024. And that wasn't Linton's first time being arrested either. Previously, he was charged with dangerous driving and a police officer. Also, he got uh, arrested for driving without a license and driving without insurance. Now, before he was in prison, Linton had been posting also fitness videos on TikTok. And to take this just a little step further, Linton, who is obviously a real winner right about now, has a girlfriend who is pregnant, who is sitting at home while her boyfriend just get sent to prison for four and a half years for doing this like heist, I guess you could say, robbing this like luxury safe for all this stuff. Now he's gone for four and a half years and she's pregnant, getting ready to have this baby all by herself. And then it was said that when she heard about this video that go that is going around, she had to be hospitalized due to the stress. Allegedly, she was afraid that she was going into early labor because of this. I, again, I can only imagine. Like, it's already bad enough that you're pregnant and now he gets sent to prison four and a half years. You know you're getting ready to have this baby by yourself. You're gonna do your baby showers by yourself. You're gonna do all this by yourself. And then now a video goes around of your baby daddy doing it with this prison guard. The video was filmed by Linton's cellmate. And it seems as though Linda was aware that she was being filmed. During it, you can actually hear Linda's radio going off. And at one point in the video, it even seems that like someone is trying to come into the cell, but you can hear the cellmate that's recording tell that person to hold on, hold on a second. Then while the cellmate is literally filming the two of them doing it, okay, he turns the camera on himself and he says, this is how we roll in Wandsworth. Okay. The video was posted on social media and it completely went viral, as you guys can imagine. And no surprise, Linda was immediately identified by different staff members that worked at the prison with her. And then she was arrested by the Metropolitan Police at the airport where she was literally trying to get on a plane and attempting to fly to Madrid to uh, see relatives. Convenient timing, huh? Now, after her arrest, Linda called the prison to tell them that she would not be making it into work and that her husband would return her equipment for her. I'm pretty sure that they knew that she wouldn't come into work. Pretty sure of that. Now, during Linda's first hearing, she went ahead and pled guilty to uh, one count of misconduct in a public office setting. And the judge granted Linda bail and ordered a pre-sentencing report to be completed which will offer like any mitigating circumstances. As for Linda's bail conditions, they're pretty strict. Linda's Portuguese passport must remain in the police custody and she's not allowed to apply for any international travel documents. She is not allowed to enter any UK travel ports. The judge also gave her an electronic like monitoring device because she has a curfew where she has to be home between 7 p.m. and 9 a.m. each day. Now at the hearing, Linda's lawyer described Linda as a young mother and a person of really good character. The prosecution, on the other hand, said that this was a shocking breach of the public's trust. They said that Linda was clearly an enthusiastic participant. Y'all, an enthusiastic 
fantastic participant. When I hear that, I think like, yay, like I'm so excited. I'm enthusiastic about participating in this scene. Hello. But anyways, the prosecution said that she was an enthusiastic participant who wrongly thought that she would avoid responsibility. They also went on to say that they will never hesitate to prosecute those who abuse their position of power. A friend of Linda's named Haley said that Linda had been going through a very hard time at work. And she also said that the inmates had found out what Linda's husband's name was and what their address was. And they found out that she had this OF account. Haley also would go on to say that Linda was dealing with like a lot of pressure and that she was dealing with somewhat seemingly like blackmail because of these accounts and stuff online. She also went on to say that Linda was having problems in her marriage at the time too. But she says that Linda and her husband are a lovely couple and that they are working very hard to save their marriage. But Haley also thinks that there is a lot more to this story that will come to light when Linda is sentenced in November of this year. Now, misconduct in a public office carries a maximum sentence of life imprisonment, okay? Life. Now, it is not clear if this means like for the rest of her life, a natural life sentence, like here in the United States, like here in Florida, if you get a life sentence, that means life, your whole life. But in some places, life is 25 years. In some places overseas, life is seven years. So it's not quite clear yet if life is life, but nevertheless. And it's also not clear if she would be eligible for parole at some point. Since this incident, Linda says that she has found faith in God, which is bringing her a lot of comfort. Linda's father-in-law, her husband's father, has told the media that Linda's husband was shocked by what happened and that he didn't know that Linda had been doing anything like that. When he was asked about Linda and her husband's marriage, her father-in-law declined to comment, but described it as, political. Linton's family, Linton being the inmate that was doing the do with her, says that Linton deeply regrets what happened. They say it's Linda's fault though, because she offered herself up. Linton's mother specifically said if they're offering it on a plate, then the guy's going to take it. Linton was immediately put on confinement, but it is said that he is unlikely to face any further punishment and he's not currently under investigation. Supposedly, neither is the inmate that filmed the video. There's a lot of people that are wondering if Linda did this for a publicity stunt in order to monetize her platforms like OF. But when she was asked about it, Linda posted a video message on social media saying that she had not monetized one bit on that video that was released at all. Hello, once again, Instagram. I hope you can appreciate this. this is gonna be a very awkward and uncomfortable conversation for me to have. I just thought I really needed to come on here and clarify a lot of things. First thing being, there has been a lot, and I mean a lot, a tremendous amount of fake profiles of me that have been monetizing off of my disfortune, um, the scandal that the entire world has somehow managed to be involved in. I have not monetized one bit at all. This is my only social media platform and I only just activated it again. So if you do come across fake profiles of me asking for money, please don't fall for it. There's been a lot of GoFundMes and fake only accounts that are not me. Very, very distasteful for you to monetize or advertise yourselves as me for OF content. It doesn't interfere with my trial, but furthermore, it is incredibly incredibly distasteful. Please, if you are an OF creator, refrain from tagging said prison. We all know the, we all know the name of the prison. Please refrain from tagging HMP Wandsworth on your stupid videos. And lastly, I wanted to tell you all that you do not know my side of the story. The media has a great way of getting a narrative and twisting it and they sensationalize everything. You don't know my side of the story. And we'll leave it as that for now. An investigation into how Linda was hired and passed the vetting process is underway. And it is believed to be because of, again, staffing shortages. So what do I think about this? I mean, it's not something that 
is super uncommon. Like we talked about in the beginning of this video, this happens all the time with male guards and female inmates, as well as female guards and male inmates. The filming it and releasing it is pretty bold. That's why I really want to know how much time she's facing. Did she think she was going to make millions and millions and millions of dollars and it was worth it to maybe do a couple of years in prison if she had to go that route or what? The bottom line is the inmates are going to try to get away with stuff that they can. I'm not making any excuses for the male inmates because the female inmates do it too. The officers are the ones with the power and are in control and she needs to be held accountable for what she did. And the craziest thing about it is, I don't know how it works over there in the UK, but here in the United States, the inmates could literally sue the prison for that, for being taken advantage of by the state. Because when you become an inmate, you are property here in the United States of the state. You are no longer a property of yourself. You belong to the state, which means they are responsible for you. Which means if you do it with a prison guard, even if you are a willing participant, sometimes they can turn around and sue the prison and make a lot of money from it. So there's like all kinds of reasons why inmates try to do certain things. Sometimes they try to set up guards. I have heard stories of women doing things and trying to get DNA, if you know what I mean, in order to take it forward and say, oh, I was taken advantage of here, you know, here, test me, put a, give me an R kit. And then later they turn around and sue the prisons and end up getting a lot of money, even though they were a willing participant. So there's all kinds of things that happen. And there's also the situations where the guards actually take advantage of the inmates, specifically that I have heard of is male guards and female inmates. But that is not what this situation sounds like. There's more to this story that we don't know about. Because why did she become a guard? Just happened to be this year. And why wasn't the vetting process done a little bit more? Because it seemed like she would have been a high risk guard to work with, especially males, with her very hyper sexual lifestyle. Because even the most well intentioned prison guard can be worn down by some of these inmates. I mean, some of these inmates have been scheming and scamming and doing criminal activity their whole lives. They're used to it. And you'll have a green prison guard come in and just trying to be nice and they can get taken advantage of. And so in my opinion, to put somebody that is high risk in that situation, they're probably gonna have questions of that too. But I think they're gonna make an example out of her. I think that, and I think that they should, just like the teacher that was taking nude photos in the classroom when the kids weren't in there and posting things on her OF. Like that is disgusting. Keep, keep those two things separate. What do y'all think? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments section down below. Any of y'all from the UK and know about this? Do y'all know how much time you think she's going to get? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Other than that, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.